Hello! Welcome back to the slowest Tears of the Kingdom playthrough on the internet! Woo! It's like my once a week journey back into this. <laughs> uh, we're here, we're here in Gerudo Town. This is our our final regional phenomena. I've done like three of the four. Uh, we did the, what, Goron one last time? It was a pretty good time. I got lost in the depths for a, a very long time. Um, but this is like the last main thing I gotta do at the moment. I don't really know where like the story is gonna go afterward, but I'm assuming there's some more. But this is like the main of, or the last of the four main areas that I have to do, since we already did like the Rito, Zora, and then Elden, Goron area. I still gotta do like the Lost Wood stuff. There's some stuff there I haven't done. Um, there's some shrines I haven't done, so I still got stuff to do. And there's also some temples, and as Umbriel's saying. Where is it? Two seconds. There's quite a bit more, to be honest. That's what I was thinking. It feels like there's a lot more. But I got my, my cool guy outfit on. Look at me. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. With my Ganon armor. My dark phantom armor. I'm in pretty cool shape. I'm just gonna, like, hop right into it, though. I feel like... Why not? Why waste time? I've heard this is the, the longest one of the bunch. So let's just hop into it. Also, hello everybody. Hello, gamer views. Uh, Drifties as well. Credits unknown. Barry to birds here too. Hello. Is that Ploka? Who is Ploka? I also just realized I titled this Gerudo Gary, but that doesn't make sense. The Gerudo are all women, except for like one dude every a hundred years, right? That's how the lore goes. Oh, also, I unlocked this while we were off off camera. I, I got the, the Yiga clan. I went in there and, and infiltrated. I, I learned Earthshake, the most useless move in the game. It's probably not even called Earthshake, but you can do that. I will never use it. You will never see it again. Earthwake, my bad. But I unlocked that. You get a technique for uh, visiting the Yiga clan and infiltrating them. It was kind of neat, but little... I don't think I'll ever use that. Nothing to report, hmm? Ooh. A vow? Did you come here to escape the sand shroud? I did. We've reached the entrance to the Gerudo shelter. But I cannot allow any vow to pass through this door. Do I have to dress up as a woman again? Ooh. You never heard that word? Vow means man in Gerudo. Yeah. There's a custom, really more of a law, that we Gerudo follow. Young Gerudo are generally not allowed to interact with vow. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? What's, what's going on? Ooh. A vow wandered in here. Did you say vo? Vo? Oh. There's nothing to worry about. The vo is very short and can't even reach the peepholes in the door. Hey, he's out of sight. Even on his, even on his tippy toes, he won't be able to see in. Yeah. Normally, vo aren't allowed to even set foot within the walls of Gerudo Town, but this is a unique situation since the town's kind of like messed up. Oh. So as long as you keep out of, I didn't read that. Um, if you're looking for some place to get out of the sand town, you can rest in one of the houses on the surface. I can fly. Wait, did she say there's like a secret way in? Did I skip the dialogue? The Gerudo shelter is beyond here. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. I won't open the door for a vow. No. Vow? Vow with a V. Bite your lower lip when you say it. Vow. It's important to notice because vow means man. Do I have to dress up as a woman? No, I don't have that armor. I don't know where to get it. I have the the headdress, I think, right? This this is like the No, this is the guy headband. I don't want to change my armor. That bit was stupid in the first game. <laughs> I hated having to be a woman every time you came into Gerudo Town. It sucked. Ooh. The Gerudo shelter's beyond here. Is there like a sneaky way I can get in? Peepholes, I'm very busy. I hate fin boys. No, I hate being kicked out of a town for being or for not dressing up as a fin boy. It's messed up. How does the how does Gerudo society even function? They have one man every a hundred years. You're going extinct. Oh shoot. You guys are there's no way you can like unless you're like an asexual species, you're done. Wee! Oh. Ah. Oh, they can have non-Gerudo husbands? Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> no. Isn't that what they do, though? They go out and, like, find other men to be with? 
Because uh, what's his face in Terrytown is with uh, the Gerudo lady. The construction guy, Bolson. There's a Vo here. Stop him. Oh, no. Don't stop me. No, they're actually going to kick me out for cheating. No. <laughs> Wait, no, they're not. Because one of them's going to recognize me and be like, Wait a second. This is the dude that, like, saved our life five years ago. Wait a second. You must leave at once. No, I'm not doing that. Yes, it's this girl. It's the... She's like... I forgot the... I, I don't remember her name being Bouliera, but it's her, like, royal guard lady. Because the... What, the Gerudo sh sage is like a, a kid, right? It's been some time. It's all right. This one has the chief's permission to enter, and he's welcome to visit any of the shops and businesses. Spread the word. Let everyone know this is the case. For you all to come this way, and during the strange storm that plagues us, you must have some important news to share. Yeah, Riju, that's who it was. That's the, the Gerudo lady. The Princess of Hyrule is still missing. We'd heard of the events at Hyrule Castle, but this, things are dire indeed. Still, swordsman, I mean Link. I'm impressed you made it here the, through the storm that surrounds Gerudo Town. The sand shroud settled on us some time ago. We sent out patrols to try to determine what was causing it, but... A swarm of monsters, cre creatures called Gibdos. Yeah, they got Gibdos in this game. It's kind of zany. Suddenly appeared, attacked our troops, and forced us to, to retreat. I found them when I was in the depths exploring, and I was like, dude, they got Gibdos in this? Uh, I think there's one in, in the town, so I can show it in a second. They've even made their way into the town. As a result, everyone was evacuated to this shelter for safety. As someone charged with protecting Gerudo Town, I'm ashamed at our current situation. This is all to say that, uh, although I wish I could help you search for the princess, now is not a good time. I'm sorry. Mm. Lady Riju is currently training. She's trying to become strong enough to save us from this disaster. If you're hoping to speak with Lady Riju, you should visit the ruins to the north. Okay. Whoa. Hello. Aww. Caliban. What do you want? I'm busy. I need to make sure the bow of my dream hears of my feelings for him. But how can I properly focus the positive energy or put the bottles in the water while well, this guy's loitering around? Aww. Scram! Whoop. Zelda turned to a light and flew into the sky. We think she's in a dungeon around here? Yeah. Wait, was someone asking for the, the lore? <laughs> Everyone's terrified of me. <laughs> also, they added this new, like, younger model of, uh... It's weird to describe, like, a, a human, or, like, a... a a person as like a younger model, but they added like younger Gerudo people in this game. It's kind of cool. Hello. Sava. Sava. Hmm. Oh, also, Umbriel, you asked if I did the Terrytown quest in the first game. Yes, that's like my favorite quest in the game. Just like building up that city is really cool. Uh, I did the side adventure in this too, and it was really wholesome. I, I enjoyed it a lot. I wasn't sure if I wanted to stream it, but I did it anyway. Uh, you must be that Vo everyone's talking about. Are Hylian and Vo interested in archaeology? Would it surprise you to learn that I'm an archaeologist myself? After much work, I finally deciphered these stelae. That's not a word. Eh? Do you want to hear what's written on them? Sure, as long as it's not too long. <laughs> the stele over here on the left, it says, The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo. Their secret will be expressed on six stelae. Lore. As for the stele over there on the right, it says... The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo in eighth channels and guides the power of these seven. Wow. Ah. I doubt you know this being a highly involved, but we Gerudo have believed in the heroines for a long, long time. Hmm. They are said to have protected and guided our people in times past. Unfortunately, I found little in the way of documentation about the heroines themselves. Mm. There are many debates and disagreements surrounding these enigmatic figures. Some argue for revering all seven as a collective and others for worshipping each one as an individual. Certain rabble-rousing contrarians even claim there were not even seven, but one. Or eight! What? If there's one thing scholars love, it's arguing with each other. <laughs> eh? What is the point of these? Ah. About this orb that I found while searching, is it connected somehow? <laughs> I've not been able to find any stele besides these two. Since there's nothing like them on the surface, the others must be underground somewhere. I wish I could see the text on scribe. Okay, so I just have to take pictures of these. I haven't seen these anywhere. These, like, 
belly? They're just balls. <laughs> also, hello, hi. <laughs> Will we ever get cooking with Flim? What do you mean, like, real life cooking? Um... Maybe? Probably not? I don't know what I would cook. I'm a terrible chef. I just slap stuff in my instant pot because I really like it. It makes things easy. I make the perfect rice. <laughs> but I'm a very bland chef. <laughs> what is this? What are they doing in here? Did they really teach them that? That like they need to go out and get married? And find the, the blue soul from Undertale? Hello. Oh, you're that special bow. My name is Asha. I'm in charge of teaching the Vo and You class. Wow, she's the birds and the bees teacher. Have you set your heart on someone special? I have. I live with my wife, girlfriend, Zelda. It's it's complicated currently since she did travel back in time. And then she like, you know, she ate that thing and the rest, it might be a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> Most by value honesty in a Vo. That's a good trait for you to have. You're welcome to sit in on a lesson. I'm good. I think I'm going to go find Riju. Ladies, I'm out of here. Oh, oh, wait, sorry. Ladies, I'm out of here. Hey. Mm. Very hot. My GF is a giant snake after she time traveled. <laughs> this make everyone feel bad. Yeah. I don't mean to brag. <laughs> but you seen that giant dragon flying around wait I bet you can see it from here okay no you can't it's hazy as hell but if you look up sometimes you'll see her she's out there we haven't really spoken a long time uh, since she time traveled it's again it's complicated Shwoop. what are y'all cooking um, we're cooking up some Gerudo goodies trying to find Riju right now She's apparently to the north of Gerudo town Also, I think there's a Gibdo right here. They were the the weird things in Ocarina of Time That these like skeleton. No, they're like mummy type enemies But they they brought them back and they look cool Woo But they kind of they kind of suck but Oh, what's this? Gibdo bone. That's going in the, the compilation. 40? For killing a Gibdo, you get 40 attack power? What is that? That was so easy. That was my uncle. Why'd you kill him? Aren't they already dead? Wait, am I confusing Gibdos and Rededs? I feel like I'm confusing Gibdos and Rededs from uh, Ocarina of Time. Or are they the same thing? Let's ride. Actually, I need to leave. Bye-bye. Uh, There's a giant sandstorm over the, uh, the desert and it kind of sucks. I also never turned this up. It's probably very quiet. There you go. You got more. I got. I gave you four decibels back. Ooh. North Jerry Ruins. Never played nor cared about a Zelda game, so I have nothing to say except this. Hi, bye, maybe some other stuff. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, though. Hello, Riju. This was a character from the first game, I believe. She's like the heiress to the Gerudo throne or something. Mm. And she can shoot lightning. Boom, look at that. Dual wield. Also, she's a lot older, older which is cool. Can't hit my mark. Won't do anyone any good. <laughs> hey, it's me. It's you. It is. Hello. This changes things. 
I didn't expect to see you here. She was so small in the last game. Chief! She made it. But then, you always show up in unusual times. I am a bit of a weirdo like that. I kind of roll up, I don't know, random times. I, I tend to sleep oh. for like years at a time. Sometimes a hundred, sometimes five. Wasn't she cheap before? I can't remember. I remember she was on the throne, but she was like 10. And I, I feel like she was a fake chief at that time, but now she's real? I don't know. That was just my headcanon. So Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky. Zelda vanished right in front of you. And now you've come here looking for clues. That's me. Hmm. I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend of me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. Sure, you notice that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. Yeah, it kind of sucks. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appeared around the same time the events at Hyrule Castle took place. It's blanketed the whole desert, including our town. And not long after that, swarms of monsters we'd never seen before began attacking. Attacking. We're calling them Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work. Yeah, I figured. Um, we were. Were you just watching now? Or were you watching just now? Yeah. Hmm. Practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it might be an effective weapon. Yeah. Hmm. What was the... Urbosa was the, like, ancient Garuda lady. It was, like, Urbosa's fury. This technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it, and I still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Gibdos. I can kill him in two hits with my, like, fire stick. I don't know, you don't need, like, summoning lightning. Hmm. I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strikes. What? I'm sorry, what? You can use my arrows? Oh, sniper. Whoa, wait, is... Ooh. Is this her mechanic? Aim for those dummies. Maybe we can hit them all with a single strike. Don't try to hit a dummy. Yeah, hit around them. Okay. Yeah, again, why was this not, like, a button? Because, oh, oop. This is going to be her move. That, like, when I hit A, I can say, let's go. But why? <laughs> can you hear my cat? She's sad. She wants someone to play with her. I just got done playing with her. Um, But why... Can't I just hold the arrow button and then hit, like, another button to activate this instead of having to find her, hit A, and then do this? It's weird. I'm getting the hang of it now. The Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. Oh? Can't thank you enough for your help. <gasps> Come. The try not to... <laughs> <laughs> the try not to come challenge. Mm -hmm. Difficulty impossible because they keep telling me to do it. You heard that too, right? It was... <gasps> Chief! We've received, word, we've received word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking Kar Kar Bazaar. They're already... Oh my god, they're <clears throat> taking it out. <clears throat> we need to head to Kar Kar Bazaar at once. I must ask for your help once again. Do you remember Karakar Bazaar? It's the Oasis North... North the, I can't read. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot I have my ghouls with me. Yeah, I'll meet y'all there. I will probably teleport? Where's Karakar Bazaar? That's, uh... This one. I'm taking a guess in the... In the dark here. Oh, I also need to show you guys this shrine that I wasn't able to finish. I think I'm stupid, but like I literally could not finish or figure out the puddle, the puzzle to it. So I'm I'll, I'll show you it after this. I'm here. Hello, I'm at Karakar Bazaar. Is the attack happening? I just instantly teleported here. Oh, they have little Gibdo gills. But they're dead. Don't let any more Gibdos get close. I better be able to loot these guys. If I can get like a bunch of 40 damage fuse materials, that'd be awesome. 
Thank you, Riju. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. But I'm here now. We're gonna wipe out all the Gibdos at once. Follow me. Link, don't let me down. So what do I do? I just shoot while I'm like within her her zone. Okay, I just destroyed all their defenses. Can I loot them? Oh yes! Free Gibdo bones! Gibdo bones are only good for arrows. Oh no, I forgot. I f they're like Bokoblin things, aren't they? Where they just have a massive amount of damage, but they have terrible durability. Also, what is this in the bottom right? I've played this game for 70 hours, and I've never seen enemies marked on the map ever. Why is this only for this spot? What? This is weird. They've never done this the whole time. Why just this mission? What? And she has a health bar too. They thought this was like Age of Calamity. <laughs> she has like a health bar above me. Weird decision. Am I supposed to break this? It's like marked for some reason. Oh! A swarm of Gibdos seem to be coming from there. Tripophobia. We need to destroy that somehow, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. Yeah. Do I just shoot it? I did it. Hello, Terra. <laughs> I'm just zapping Gibdos over here. Whoa. Well done holding the line until we were able to get Two cutscenes? Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Huh. Uh-oh. Is that Why Zelda? Is Ze it's not Zelda, guys. I could tell you that. We've done this three times. Uh. It's not Zelda. Well, game... I love that shrine in the middle of that, like, uh-oh, I'm in danger. That's fine. Zelda, wait! I could, I can tell you, it's not Zelda. She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. Toward. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm... Liara, we need to get back now. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Link. She we're really going said. <laughs> I'll meet you in town. Okay, I'm gonna go do shrines. I'll be right back. I gotta show off my like mobile game ad puzzle skills. Like, I bet you guys will be able to solve this instantly, but I was stupid. I couldn't figure this one out. Hmm. They made it so if you did them in order, you would not be, or in any order, you would not be spoiled. Yeah, but it makes it, like, lame. Because all of them have that same cutscene that tell you about the imprisoning war and how they lost to Ganondorf. And it's just like, I, I know, you told me the first time. I wish they had, like, a set order of, like, I don't know, it would have required, eh. it would have required extra effort. But if you did them in any order, you would have learned more each time, like... Each sage reveals something new. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know how to do this puzzle. It was like drifting flame. See, I did this. I went, I picked up my fire. I went, boom, I lit that. Door opened. Did a little dun -dun 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 -dun. But then I get up here and like, I had no idea what to do. And it, I still have no clue what it wants me to do. There's like three thingies here, but there's no poles to be lit. And like, this is it. 
Because that's the end right there. I can pick up this candle, but what am I lighting with it? I even already went down there and opened that chest. Yeah, you would think it's momentum because you can step on this little button. This is where my brain went. It was like, okay, maybe there's like things that need to be lit in in those little pillars. So I'll stand on this, let it go down and then bring it back up. It'll launch it, but it didn't, it didn't do nothing. What's my goal? You need to do an epic trick shot on the three candles? There are no candles. Or are they... Are the candles on top? <laughs> I don't... I, st I stood here for like 10 minutes. And I couldn't figure it out. Oh, is it when... They pop out when you've... Oh. I see. Then... Bum, bum, bum. Can I just do this? Oh. Oh, this is dumb. I don't like this puzzle. Wait, I still don't like this puzzle. You just do... Do that? And then... Oh my god. My nunchucks, or whatever these things are called, my Joy-Cons are slightly far away from my, um, my Switch, so they're lagging slightly. It's kind of annoying. Go up. Go up. Go up. Nice. No way, this is, is this the solution? <laughs> I guess I could do it, like, a different way if I wanted to, but... Hmm. I put a shield on the pressure plate and use four wooden bundles attached to the candle to light them. Um, um, I guess this is a solution. Do it. Move, go up. Come on. I missed. No way I missed. Okay, I didn't. You're probably the only streamer I watch. Well, I appreciate it. I do a lot of streaming, and I don't think there's a ton of YouTube streamers. Everyone's on, like, Twitch. Although more and more people lately have been moving to, to YouTube. It's really cool. I've been enjoying, like, watching the, the YouTube versus kick debate on the internet. Or not YouTube, uh, the Twitch versus kick debate. And I'm sitting here like, YouTube's the better option. Dude, I get a gifted membership from Jacob. Thank you. Thank you, Jacob. Drifty's got it too. Nice. Come on. Go up. Go up. Hey. Oh. My cat's trying to sit in my lap. Hmm. Aren't people moving with Twitch because some stupid thing Twitch did? Yeah, they... They've done a lot of stupid stuff. It's kind of hard to explain. But there's also... There's like Kick.com, which is sponsored by gambling things, and it's like clearly manipulating people. I even saw a thing about how... Uh, one viewer on Kick... Or no, one viewer on YouTube and Twitch is 1.7 or 2.3 viewers on Kick. So, like, you can... If you went to Kick and you went to a zero viewer streamer, you open 10 tabs of their stream, and then you boost them to 10 viewers. Uh, if you check, like, five minutes later, it says they have, like, 23 viewers sometimes. It just, like, lies about view count to inflate numbers. It's really weird. Really weird and, and kind of shady. Also, there's like gambling promoted on, on the site constantly. It's really weird. Mm. Did I turn off TTS from yesterday? I did. <laughs> I was smart for once. I turned it off. See, we don't promote gambling over here. I turned off gamble. <laughs> I turned off gamble for no reason other than it like clogged up chat a little bit. Hello. 
Hmm. Look, Link. There's a Gibdo hive, just like the one that appeared near Karakara Bazaar, mm -hmm. but the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time. But it's not only the one hive, there are three to deal with. Oh, great. Just, I don't need a clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gibdo attack is coming. Oh. Right now, those hives are durable and nearly impervious to attack. But when they open, you gotta hit them. Hmm. Hello, chat. Hello, bangerhead shark. Oh. <gasps> Come. She gonna say it? Come. Oh! Come. <laughs> Please! <laughs> Calm down. Where I am. They had to have known what they were doing, right? Uh. They, like, they couldn't have put that in and been like, yeah, that's not weird in English at all. <laughs> Try not to <laughs> come challenge. <laughs> Is it calling out to us? Mm-hmm. Lady Riju, Link, is something the matter? I thought it's nothing. Hmm. For now, we should focus on protecting Gerudo Town from the enemies at our gates. We must prepare for battle. My cat is laid in my my lap, and it's so cute. I wish I could show you it, but we do crotch cam if I did that. But she's just like resting right here. Oh. Um. No, I I I like could do this on my own, but apparently I need you. The Sand Shroud, yeah. Hmm. Speak with Buliara and the soldiers. Help us organize our defense. Are we doing tower defense? Oh. What's the plan? Oh, no. Oh. Talk to Captain Teak. Work with her to decide the best way to deploy our forces. I could do this on my own. Oh. Pod is in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. <laughs> they have... <laughs> they have three stakes and three watermelons, or hydromelons, and a bunch of bananas. <laughs> oh. uh, I already know about the enemy, it's just give those. You just shoot them and they die. I tried it on my own, I failed in four minutes. Really, you can fail this? Well, I'm gonna steal all their supplies. Uh, they will be starving, but <laughs> they have a mirror, a stake, and a flame emitter. I can make like a flame turret. You were saying that earlier. I could make like a, a cannon or something. Oh. Ooh. Baked apples. Oh. I'm gathering materials that I think might be useful. Uh, I already took them all. Ooh. Uh, put it on the east. I don't know. Don't really care too much. She's setting up a barricade apparently. Oh. Nice. I gotta get some pics for my my com my compendium. It's important. Oh, is that a Gerudo shield? Let me get a pic. Will I ever play Ultra Kill? I've been planning on it soon. I feel like it'd be fun. It looked like a good game. Hmm. Mirror can reflect sunlight. What? Electric horn. Wait, there's electric Lizolfoses? Lizolf Lizolfi? Lizolfos? Oh. Do, do, do. <laughs> Tara. It's a bit of a misspell there, but I see what you're saying. What? <laughs> oh. Alright, how should we deploy our forces? You guys. Oh. Oh my god. What? We need to decide who to send where. Who can- You go to the west gate. Does this matter? Ah. Uh. Ah? Uh? Then you send the sword troops to the west gate. Finally. We will deploy the camp- Oh, I sent the same people to the same gate. As whatever. Ah. Uh. Then you go to the north gate. Easy. Ah. Ah. And I think I'm good to go. You weren't lying when you said this was like one of the longer ones. I can see how they padded this one out. 
How do I start? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, tell me about the enemy. We already know about them. They're Gibdos. Oh. Then how do I start? There we go. We're just Josh and Tara. Yeah, we are. <laughs> just goofing. Where did the, the phrase just Josh and come from? Who was Josh and why was he the guy that everyone's like, yeah, your name means prank now, by the way. Just goofing. Hmm. Link. I'm curious about that voice we heard earlier, but... Hmm. Hmm. Uh-oh. G-g-g-gibdos! Uh, they're moving to attack the town. Before anything else, we'll need to deal with this, of course. Oh, bye-bye, kitty. She didn't like me yelling. All right. So what, I just have to destroy these three? I feel like this will be easy, but we'll see. Bum, bum. Stay strong. This threat is also an opportunity. Fight well and we can wipe them out in one battle. Hives and all. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh. Are those Gibdos or Redeads? They are Gibdos. I got them confused with Redeads, but they're they're in fact Gibdos. Monsters have appeared outside town. Monsters have appeared outside the town. This is literally just Age of Calamity. Can I just break it like this easily? Does it not? No, wait, I can't break them quickly? No. Oh no, which way is east? Enemies are pouring out of the hive near the north gate too. Take oh. them out. <laughs> yeah, Redeads are the ones that go like and then freeze you, aren't they? Uh oh, they're already in the town. We're already losing. This is it's over. with lightning hold up hold up hold up Ugh. man this part is uh interesting i i can't say i wanted to play a zelda game to play like a tower defense doodad but here we are bop I think it's a cool effect though, like this, the explosion stuff is really cool. Or the lightning attached to the arrows. I like that a lot. They fly now? They fly now. Make 30 mech suits. <laughs> I'm not talented enough. Oh, watch this. Flying enemies ah. from the west gate hive. Time for a lightning strike or two. Which one's the west gate? There it is. Look at those little moth guys. Yes. Got him. I love the little moth dudes. Inside. Enemies are nearing the center of town. Eliminate every enemy you see. Where? The Where are they? What are they doing here? Get out of here. <laughs> Use your brain and what the compass on the right? I'm backwards. It's so hard. Hey, get out of here. Oh, get fried. I love that they're little mothy boys. They look like um, Geonosians from Star Wars. Boom. Then oh, watch this sniper. Oh, there's a compass on the right. Yeah, it said tells you where north is on the compass. See, in the bottom right, like this is north. Which way I'm facing? Watch this shot. Oh, put that one in a montage. 
<laughs> Give me. But my hope will never die. <laughs> that was a montage shot. Holy moly. Give the wings. Wait, I gotta put that in my. Aw. Do a 360 no scope. I don't think I can. Another hive down. Excellent work, Mr. Link. I whiffed that one. Alright, we're done, right? Or are they gonna send, like, two more dudes? Oh, these are nasty. They just, like... Ugh. <laughs> I did it! Now what? Yeah! Now do we like take it to the temple? Oh? Incredibly grateful for your help on behalf of all the Gerudo, thank you! I suspect the Gibdo threat will calm down a bit now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town. Hmm. I noticed that the hives crumbled in the sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connection to the sand. Hmm. Or maybe, maybe, they're connected to the sand shroud. Did they make it? Did it summon them? Hmm. Then there's the voice that you and I both heard. A voice in lightning? This reminds me of something. Hmm. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. Of course. Whee! Oh, wait, hold up. Hello, I'm here. Um, what did you want me to do? She said this to the mural? What mural is she talking about? I think we're like one third of the way done. No. Why does it have to be so long? Um, aha, I found her. Hello. You came. Look at the mural on this wall. It's a Triforce. Except those aren't in this game. They don't talk about the Triforce in this Zelda. Not in this, not in this timeline. It appears that when they created it, they were also using this shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also beset by some great disaster. Anyway, the writing on this mural says, Standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. I think I know what this is talking about. Because I did some exploring, and there were some, like, pillars that had the thing on top of them. Um, you who can hear my voice, come to me, I await you. That mysterious voice that spoke to us. Its words reminded me of this mural. That image must represent a location of some kind, and the engraved words are riddled to discovering its location. It's the only explanation that makes sense. Oh wow, they just tell you to like... Yeah, you'll figure it out. Um, standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars. So you're telling me like, go up here. Where the hell does she read this? I know, where is she reading that? That's a picture on a wall. How is she reading? There's, there ain't no words on that wall. Go up. So standing back to back with the throne? Witness three red pillars. I see one. Uh, I'm gonna go to that one. Dude, it's hot as hell. It's hot as Hades. Have y'all ever heard that phrase? Do people <laughs> say that? I feel like that's a southern thing. And even then it's like a weird southern thing. Okay, I guess we go over here. If you've already found the pillar that wipes off like 10 minutes of searching probably. I hope so. What are you?
Uh, do I unga bunga? Wait. I did it! Oh, and I have to align the... I gotta, like, spin it so it aligns properly? With what, though? What does it need to align with? Oh, free Korok? Aw. Oh. oh, this one doesn't need to align. It's already pointing to what it... Oh, okay. And then there's another one over there, but I can do a sneaky little, um... I can do one of these? Don't tell anyone. I already did some exploring. Shh. The, <laughs> the Korok was clinging to the rock. They're dead now. I don't think I've found a Korok in a while. I haven't been searching very much for them, but... I haven't seen one in a minute. Oh, God. I made a mistake. Um... Hmm. So I teleported in, but I didn't realize it'd be all sandy stormy. Oh, no. Uh, I'm gonna drown, too? I think I went to the wrong one. I think I meant to go to this one. Mm. Dude, I'm excited for next week. I feel like it's gonna be a fun streaming week. I have, um... I was gonna play Bikmin, but I was gonna... So so the Pikmin 4 demo comes out on, on the 27th, which is a Tuesday. But uh, what if I said like, my Pikmin 4 is messed up and we played Bikmin instead. Quick baity and arguably more fun. Cause I know I'm gonna play Pikmin 4, so I don't need to make the, uh, or download the demo. And there's there's also um, that new Hollow Knight mod that comes out on next Saturday, I think would be a good one. Whoa. Make sure to age rate the stream. I can't do that. I can either say it's for kids or not for kids, and everything I do is not for kids, so. Wait. Um, there's Pikmin 4 now? Yeah. There's a demo for it on the 27th. But Bigman's a little weird. It's got a lot of swearing and stuff. Oh my god, I went to the same temple. Okay, we're just gonna go here. I'm just gonna hold straight. <laughs> found this Pikmin 4 copy after digging a hole at some coordinates. <laughs> I found this in the dumpster out back. It's a messed up copy of Pikmin 2. Ooh. Swearing funny. Swearing very funny. They made it say, instead of day one, it says gay one. <laughs> so funny. Swearing is also funny. But I'm, I'm super excited for it because there's so many things I've seen from it and so much more that I haven't seen from it. But apparently this version of it is like way better. So I'm excited. Um, Are you... You blocked your dang light hole. No. Where's the light? Oh, Flim, you're so funny. Colon line. What does that mean? <laughs> Oh, I was supposed to go that way, I think. Right? Where was I supposed to go? Maybe to that thing? Um... So I'm facing, like... Hmm... Where's that tower? I just saw it. It was, like, right in front of me. Maybe go there? No, I'm supposed to be here? What was I supposed to do there? There was no light. Or did, would spinning that wheel have done that? Would, the, would that have made that work?
Mario Rabbids DLC. I'm not going to play that until uh, the Rayman DLC comes out. I realized it's like a lot shorter than I thought, so I'd rather just play that when the, the Rayman one comes out. Oh, I hate this section. It sucks, man. You can't see anything. You had to bring wood rods up to the top using the platforms? What? That's weird. Dang, I'm hot boy. Um, can I be cold? Do I have ice anything? I don't have any heat resistance. We're just gonna burn. <laughs> We're just gonna burn alive. What happens if it, like Link lines himself up with the moon and ascends? Can he do that? Ooh, pillar. Hello. This one's low though. Why are you so low? The wheel of fate. And so this, what, raises that higher up so now I can reflect? I'm not quite sure I follow, but uh, I'm just going to keep spinning this. Oh! I follow. Do, 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 do. Wait, did I do it? Did I... Is it aligned? Properly? Surely not. My wife is down there? Throw a bomb. Are you talking about the Gibdos? You're dating? Or not dating, you're married to one of those? They're dead. <laughs> I don't know how that's working out. I hope... I'm glad you found someone, though. Happy for you. Let's see. It's this right here, I believe. Right? Hopefully. Oh, and congrats on being hard mode. Nilo Angelo, by the way. Good luck for hard Mundus. Dude, I crushed hard Mundus. That guy can suck... Eggs. Uh, I'm not doing Devil or Dante Must Die mode, but I'm trying to collect all the enemy files, which I didn't know that was a system in that game, and it might be my favorite thing ever in like any game for uh, for like compendium type type stuff. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, what, we're talking Devil May Cry for a second. They have a cool as file for every enemy, where whenever an enemy does a specific attack, it'll add an entry to it and tell you a little bit about that attack and like why they're doing it and how you can like respond to it and every, like it's it depends on what attack they do it's so cool it's like oh it's supposed to be like dante sees it and be like okay how do i react to that next time and then it acts as a tutorial for some of the moves i've never seen a game do that and i love it Oh yeah, I'm not bringing the, that stick up there. I brought my own sticks. Thank you very much. Come on. But it's weird to me that I haven't seen any other game do that before. Giant stakes for giant vampires. I wonder if I could stake a Gibdo. I did it! Triforce! Wowie zowie. Then the sand square opens up to form a giant lightning rod. Which I have to zap with lightning using Riju. Oh. <laughs> it's a 
It's the entrance to the, the temple. Okay. Cool. Do I need to go talk to Riju first, or can I just hop on down? It says she's right in front of me. Just go straight. I am back. Why is there a Dorito in the sky? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't quite know, but I think it's the Temple of Lightning or whatever we're doing. Why is there a Dorito in the sky? <laughs> It's lore. Real Zelda. It's her. And now she's not. There's no way she would like walk and disappear off camera. It's definitely her. Did you see that? It's Zelda. <gasps> she's gone. No way. Next, you're going to tell us. Next, you're going to tell me she's going to like show up in the temple in 10 minutes. And then walk into the boss room. Oh no, where did she go? If only we had like a lightning move to open this thing. We've seen someone who looked like Zelda twice, but a mystery for another time. Did you solve the mural's riddle? If I remember correctly, it said, Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. Maybe my lightning strike is the key. Yes, just, just, just easy. And then we get a massive temple of time. Or not of time. We've already been to the temple of time. This is the temple of lightning. I'm out of tea. Oh. No, there's Gibdo Nest in here too? No way. No, 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 no. I thought we were done with Gibdos. Yeah. Does Zelda have a twin sister I should know about? Apparently she has like five sisters. When the aura is charged, you can call on her for a lightning attack. Yeah. Oh, we got the let's go move. Man, you can... Oh, man. So if when she's a ghost, if you accidentally activate this, you're just stuck with this, like, lightning circle around you until you use it. <laughs> That's a little frustrating. A little weird. Come. No, come. <laughs> she didn't say it. Whoops. Um. Boo should have been spirit. Spirit's here. It's underground. Uh, I haven't done it yet, but I need to soon. What do we do here? Wait, really? Yeah, it's um. It's right here. Spirit temple. I haven't been there yet. Because I couldn't... I found it and was like, oh, this is neat. And didn't do anything with it. I haven't had a reason to go to it. Oh. I gotta do lore first? What do you mean? Oh, is there one of those weird Zonai things I have to interact with first? Or do I have to climb to the top? You gotta advance the story to actually activate the quest. Are you talking about Spirit Temple or this? You gotta shoot the purple. Wait, what? I did. Do I have to shoot the big purple? Is that the deal? Nuke the giant purple thing. I can do that.
Why does Riju... Wait, did all the other sages have this, like, map marker? I've n I don't think they did, did they? I don't remember them having, like, a weird map marker like that. For some reason, Riju gets one. Lightning ready! I did it! It's like Metroid. Oh, what the heck? Whoa! Wait, this thing's sick! Is that Zelda? Wait, this is awesome! Whoa! Queen Gibdo! Let me get a picture of that. I can see that. It must be responsible for all this. Come on, let's take it down together. Copy that. Oh my god, look at those fingers! Like, <laughs> I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna grab you with my little ghoul claws. Look at me. It's like scheming. Oh, laser shot. That's going in the compendium for sure. And the head's not in frame. Whatever. Laser. Wait, this thing's awesome. Yeah, our attacks are working. You just have to do them correctly. Oh no! Oh no! 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 I screwed up. What do you mean? Wait, the other Gibdos do this? Oh. Coarse, rough, it gets everywhere. Stupid sand. Are you okay? Good God. <laughs> um, I might eat my my little mighty meaty skewer, and yeah, that should be fine. Did I beat it? Bzzz. What, is it gonna fly away? Be like, nah, uh you have to destroy like four locks before you can get to me, actually. Sorry, bye. Hmm. Flood up toward the roof. Maybe there's some way to get up after it inside the structure. Hmm. Come on, let's find a way in. Oh, good. Let's enter the structure. I wanted to fight that thing. I guess we'll have to wait. Ooh. Korok Frond Guster. I'll take that. Oh, no way. Do they have Luigi's Mansion physics? They have it. Look at this. Luigi's Mansion 3! Physics. Um, is this useful? Oh! What does this do for me, though? Flame emitter. Can't go up. We miss Steph streams. How's she doing? She's doing well. Looking for a job currently. Um. Oh, is this a button? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I 
Here I come. I'm a bad boy. I like to live life a little extreme. Oh. Okay, so what are we doing? We're just, I'm guessing, doing what we do in all these and finding three things to, to mess with. Oh, hello. Do I have any elemental stuff? I have like a flame keys. Thunder Gleeock Blade. It broke. Okay, good. Great. Secret. Look, they have secret loot. If I, like, I dig up this dead body, if I disrupt this grave, I can get a claymore. Wow. Is this one going to be more confusing than the fire temple? I hope not. I didn't like the fire temple at all. Mm. What's my favorite game? I don't know. In recent memory, Pizza Tower has been like a perfect game. I haven't, I, I have like no complaint with that game. Um, I don't know though. Outer Wilds is up there. That's a, that's a classic. I don't really like pick favorites very well. I just kind of enjoy, or like, I play a lot of stuff. And I tend to really like most things, or I find like good in everything. Except for Only Up, I didn't really enjoy that one that much. Oh no, I did enjoy it. It wasn't like the worst. Oh, did I, sh I didn't show, I, I mentioned this in Discord. Um. There's a game called Joshua's Legs on Steam. You're a spider, and it's like a Metroidvania getting over it. It looks really good. It has like 20 reviews. I kind of want to try it. How do we get up there? We we have to turn on the electricity things. But you, you play as a spider, and you control the, the left and right arms with your, your controller. It's really cute and look fun. Uh oh. Powering up. Oh, not good enough. The floor started to rise and then slam back down. Come. Daughter. Daughter of no the come. Garden. This platform connects to the very top of this temple. Uh huh. Use your power to charge the four batteries, and it will function once more. Uh-huh. Four bat. Okay, Heed this doesn't look too bad. Words. When do we get to go? <laughs> uh. The monster we fought outside earlier fled to the top of this temple. Yeah, we gotta get up there. We gotta charge the bats. Alright. It's temple in time. I could also just light a, yeah, I can like attach a rocket to my hand. There's so many ways I could just fly up to the top of this temple. I literally have a move called Ascend. If we just built a pillar, I could get there easy. Oh. Ba bum ba bum. All right. So this is one of the batteries. Mm-hmm. That seems to have absorbed my lightning well enough. All right. This is such a weird game. You just have this posse with you the whole time. You just have this gang, like, rolling around with you. Always in your way, too. They really had to play that theme for that. It was like, it's just a, a boulder. I just lifted a boulder up. I'll leave that area to you, Link. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, no. This temple takes like 40 minutes. Yeah, if you're slow. I'm assuming it's all like light puzzles and 
stuff like that. Got him. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Blue mob and pulverizer, yeah. Um, eightfold blade, wind razor. Yeah, I'll put a, a horn on that. <laughs> the room of natural light. Ah, yes. They were very creative with their names. The ancient Gerudo people. Oh, this is kind of neat. So we're going to be like reflecting this light the whole way through. Beautiful. Dude, if they had the room of unnatural light, that'd be kind of cool. I want the room of unnatural light. <laughs> so what is that doing? Oh! I did it! Cool. Then also I can do this as well, which does what exactly for me? I don't know, but might as well do it. Can I not do it with this light? No, surely. Oh. Yee. Oh, thank God. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna forget about that door, but I'm gonna go down here. Ooh. Have fun with the mini light puzzles. I'm not a big fan of the light puzzles. They had some other ones in like some of the shrines. Wasn't super into them. Hello? Oh, that was Riju. I thought that was like a bug. Ah, oh, the room of offered light. Wow, oh, they're really trying to like hammer in the. <laughs> they're really trying to hammer in this like you, you're gonna be working with light. Look, we gave all these guys mirrors. Why does this guy have so much health? They have so much. Oh no. Oh jeez. Wait, there's Gibdo doodads in here too? Why? <laughs> no. Because you teared them up? Oh wait, do the enemies tear up with, with like what I have? Is that how it works? Do they level up with like my gear? Or based on like stuff in my inventory? Okay, Riju, I just need you to stand still so I can... Let's go. Boom. Can I do it without the arrows? 
it's a points thing like the last game but different i didn't know what the last game system was I, it feels really awkward just like shooting the ground to activate her thing i wish i could just double tap it to instantly do it maybe Unless there is an actual way to, to do it easier. I don't know if there is. Oh boy, more Gibby does. Okay, you're... Oh, you're still going, man. Whatever, I don't care enough. <laughs> um, I'm assuming I gotta get up there, right? Let's see, what's the goal in here? I'm guessing the goal is shine a light here. So... Couldn't I just do this? Mirror. <laughs> what are the Gibby Doe's thinking about? What's Gibby thinking about? Does everyone still agree that iCarly was like a amazing show? Everything about about it was amazing. Dan Schneider is a different thing, but like the show itself was really good. I loved iCarly. I don't know why. I think it was just like that Drake and Josh era of humor. Or it came like right after Drake and Josh. Wow. Time to zap. I did it! Two more left, Link. Two bats. Spencer was the goat. Yeah, Spencer was. Didn't they remake it soon? Soon? Or like, no, not soon. Didn't they remake it like recently? I also saw the dude. I got an ad for Zoe One O Two. That was the most like I like I, I felt weird in my stomach when I saw that. It's the the reboot of Zoe One O One that no one asked for. And she's like 30 and she's like, I need more wine. <laughs> and it's like, shut up. And she's trying to date Chase again or something. I Yeah, and they it's it's weird. Even the, the show, the commercial for it made fun of itself because all she does is talk about the high school they went to, like Pacific Coast Academy. And they're all like, Girl, you're 30. Can you stop talking about high school for once, please? Is this a puzzle? I can't tell if this is a puzzle room. She's an alcoholic now. No, she's just a 30 year old woman and um, I don't know. That's an easy way to indicate that she's older is that she's drinking alcohol. The lightning temple. Out of my way. It's just oh, okay. <laughs> this is the Mission Impossible room, but <laughs> I just uh, dove right in. I guess that could have been way cooler. Don't put that one in the montage, please. <laughs> Keep that one out of that. Where is Riju? Did she not? Oh no. Oh, chill. Wait, so 
Sorry, I'm trying to keep up with chat. Um, they already have the reboot. iCarly is on Paramount. Yeah, it was on Paramount. Um, if you're a 30 year old, you immediately love wine. I don't make the rules. That's just how it goes in media. Apparently. Hello, Riju. I need you to zap up for me. Can you please stop running away? Wait for it. All right, now one more bat, and we're out of here. Okay, only. Oh, okay. This was right here. Cool. Where's the last one? Is the last one up top? Like, maybe it's in that room I went into? Because this looks like it could be um, a something and there's a door. Well, that, that leads there. The room of glorious light. I mean, there's, there's light coming down. Hmm. But it also looks like it could be a boss battle room or something. Ooh, music's going a little crazy. Also forgot it tells me where everything is, so I don't need to <laughs> I don't need to think about this too hard, thank God. Oh, it's this one. How do I get that light? I'll do it myself. Oh, was that the boss battle room? Was I not supposed to be there? Puzzles. Oh, it's so close. That's it, that's it, that's it. Did I get it? Hey! <laughs> Puzzle! I don't know how you're supposed to do that normally. There's probably a mirror pointing right at it, but... Whatever. Oh. No. This music, it sounds like Chinese inspired almost. And I don't know why, but I really like it. It reminds me of like the Mist of Pandaria music from, from WoW. It's going to be a problem. Let's see if we can crunch this. Wait, that's kind of cool. Is it stuck like that? <laughs> it better not break on me. Release the crusher. Okay, now... Hey! Forgot you were a nerd, yeah. The question of the, of the day bot asked, like, what game have you played the most? And I was like, is it Destiny or is it... World of Warcraft. It's probably World of Warcraft. I don't know which I'm more, like, embarrassed about. About. The Crusher. I sadly had to play Fortnite. You had to? Dude, I was scheduling a, a collab with, with Slambini soon. Potentially this week. We could be doing some Fortnite on Friday. Fortnite Fridays are back. What is this room? Cool. 
Come on, you're so close. You're you're so close. Oh, but I can Oh, look at that. I can just jam this sucker into the wall. Look at that. Oh. Wait a second. There we go. <clears throat> Swoop. Swoosh. Watch me swoosh right in. I wish they used those stakes more. I think they're used in like three puzzles in the shrines, but they're one of my favorite mechanics in the game. I love how you can stick them in the wall. Apparently you can also, um, depending on how like how far they are into the ground, if you hit them, they'll make a different note, like a, a, pit, a different pitch. So people have made music, like people have made uh, Megalovania and a bunch of other songs in game using them. It's really cool. But you can make music. They're kind of like note blocks. That's it. The fourth bat. All of that should wake up the mechanism. Let's go, Link. <laughs> Music's kind of going crazy. I usually rent games in my Steam account is fairly new, so as long as I've got 300 hours in Stardew, that's still a lot. I think the platform is about to move. I wonder where it's going to take us. Could it take us to the boss room I already went into? I don't know. Do you think we'll see Zelda in there? Something shining over there. Hmm. Is Zelda? I want to put on some armor so I don't die. Um, my cool guy armor. Cool guy. Oh. Okay. Let's go. I wish I got into Stardew. It just didn't click with me. Maybe if I gave it another shot, I would, like, click with it. But I'm enjoying smaller games. Uh-oh, he's back. Or no, she's back. It's a queen. Queen Gibdo returns. Hello. Let's go. We'll finish it off here and now. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I love this thing's design. We've got it cornered here. This might be my favorite boss so far. Although the the what was it? Goma was another good one. I really like that design. All right, give me this. This thing just looks like it's up to no good. Beam attack. Ow. Maybe the strategy you use for the other gifts will work here too. Can you please stop backseating? When do I hit it? Just now? Wait. Oh, now? <laughs> Me and the boys. All right. I need a picture of this thing just like scheming. No. Uh oh, now it's gonna start start spawning Gibdos, isn't it? Rise, my babies! Oh! Summoning more Gibdos. More freaking Gibdos! D 
beautiful shot. Oh yeah, replace that. Way better. The lighting's a little worse, but whatever. What are they? <laughs> well, they can creepy crawl. Look at them go. <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. Oh, they do. Blast it. Freaking grib. <laughs> grib those. Do I need to shoot the queen or... Hmm. Can you... Can you? I'm trying. <laughs> Please. I have to wait on your dumbass's cooldown. And you're like, um, can you do something? I'm trying. I gotta wait on your let's go to recharge so I can do any damage. I know like elemental damage would work, but I'm just... I don't feel like it. Oh yeah, bomb arrows are, are fire, aren't they? I guess that would work. That worked, okay. Then... Wow. Use it. For what? Oh, we can... Yes, you fools. Yeah. Wait, this is kind of cool. I wish this was done earlier. Oh, I was supposed to do this earlier. I cheesed the puzzle. So uh, I didn't have to, like, attach... I could have oh, I could have attached a shield or a mirror to my shield and it would have been effective against those gibdos earlier. That's kind of cool. Oh, we got a little too close there, Missy. Hold up. Um Eat my spicy mushrooms and my... God, I have nothing. I, have, like, need to make more food. Are you okay? I think. <laughs> oh, it's so creepy. Can these little dudes get off of me? I'm I'm DPS in the boss. No, 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 no! Come on. I'm killing the. Mm. Oh, there's more. Oh, I didn't realize. I didn't realize there were more hives that I didn't didn't destroy. Did I hit it? Oh, I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it. What a shot! hits me. I'm so afraid of it. I don't want to get close because I know it's going to hit me and like insta-kill me. But I should be able to get a hit in? No way. Reju's too slow. <laughs> I gotta like do my own thing here. Are you okay? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, 
Oh my god, this thing's such a baby. Fight me. Are you okay? It keeps running away. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Now we get to learn about the the war thing, right? Bum, 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 bum. I did it. We get to learn about the, the imprisoning war. And we get the tear of the kingdom. Wow. Hello, Jinx. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Cool. I'm missing like six heart containers. I'm getting close. Yeah. Then she touches it and it takes us to the like past. Samurai Jack. And then it tells us like I once Region. fought Beloved with a God bunch of people. Uh, I know that voice. You are the one who's been talking all this time. Yes, your ancestor from a time long past. I was a Gerudo warrior who served the first king of Hyrule Should I skip and the it? sage who called down <laughs> lightning, just as you can. I've seen you brandish the power you have in defense of our people. I would expect nothing less from my descendants. <laughs> yeah, my old face. Okay, we yeah. She gives them she gives her the tear of the kingdom, it goes on long her ear or something, and then they go, Long, long ago, when the kingdom was when still young, we fought Ganondorf. So and they lost. We already know this. This is the fourth time we've seen this cutscene, and we'll probably see it one more time. And now I have told you all I can of the imprisoning war. And <clears throat> I've told you everything. Do not skip my cutscene, please. So it's my destiny to fight by your side. They always get so excited to fight by my side, and then they just leave and go hang out in their, their house. Destiny as a sage. My duties as chief. And fighting side by side with you? <laughs> Sounds like fun. Yeah. I will gladly strike down the so-called demon king. I guess it's time to claim my destiny. Nice. Where does this go? Does it go on her foot? No, the bird had the foot. It goes on her like ear, probably. Hey, it's an earring. It looks cute. Yay. I am the sage of lightning. Witness this new power I possess. And she just zaps me. I'm right there, you're gonna kill me. My stupid Wario nose. But well, wait a minute. I was told there were only four sages, but I have five I finger. The sage of lightning. Swear that I will stand with you. And here, as proof of my vow. I'm gonna turn into a ring, and never you will never see me again. Until the DLC, maybe. Wah. <laughs> Wow. Ta-da! Look at that. I need the middle finger ring. Where do I get that one? 
Spirit Temple? Oh, good. I will never use your move. I'm gonna forget to use it. I... It's a good move. I, I'll just forget to use it. Okay. Should we head back to town? Yeah. I get a lore section? I love lore. Woo! I want to go do the, the maze. There's some stuff in the sky areas I wanted to do. I want to do the uh, the Deku tree because I never did that. I got to find the Master Sword too. I don't know if that is in the Deku tree. I don't think it is. I got a lot to do. Oh? What's that smell? What are you looking at? Am I gonna come like... Oh, the sand's going away. <laughs> I thought I was gonna come like flying in. Yippee! Now we got this giant temple back here. It's infested with mummies too. And it's like 200 feet from our town. Unless all the mummies died. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Thank you for helping me. I've received reports that ever since the sand shroud dissipated, Gibdo attacks have almost entirely stopped. Okay, they're gone. Oh. It will no doubt take some time to rebuild, but it's thanks to your help that we can live on the surface again. Yay. On behalf of all the Gerudo people, thank you. Thank you. So, boss. Sorry to say, though, that despite the safety of Gerudo Town no longer being a pressing concern, we still haven't been able to uncover any information on the whereabouts of Zelda. What? Mm. Actually, I do have a small piece of information. I experienced a vision when I took the secret stone in my hand. The person that my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time looked identical to Zelda. That's crazy. So crazy we've heard that three times already. Mm. It's impossible to deny that someone resembling Zelda has been spotted across Hyrule and that terrible events followed her. The Zelda we know and the Zelda we saw in the vision of the dense distant past are incredibly similar. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'm sorry, Link. Although the, th the threat of the sand shroud and the Gibdos has passed, I cannot leave Gerudo Town at the moment. Things need to be timed to get settled. However, we'll take you on the task of searching this area for any signs of Zelda. Thank you. Mm. And with my newfound power as a sage, I'll still be able to support you. Thank you. You got the finger thing. Oh. I've already done it all. Oh wow, they have like special dialogue for if you've done everything. And it's like go back to lookout landing. Still cool. We get to go talk to Pure Pura again. Ooh. Do 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 do. I think there's side quests and stuff I could do here, but I'll probably do those on my own. Unless, I, I don't know. The side quests in this game have been kind of like, very meh. I haven't been very excited to do them like, at all. The side adventures are cool. But the side quests that are just like, hey, can you give me 10 fish and like, go find some stuff? Maybe like, click A on some things and come back to me? I don't know, I haven't been super excited to do them. I've also been taking this game like incredibly slow. I feel like I'm the only person on the internet still doing their playthrough. And I haven't even done like a full playthrough. I just did it on my own. Can you visit all the wells? I have 30 more to do. I have no idea where they are. I think you can set up um, a shrine tracker. Like you can tell the... Um, the the shrine tracker to look for oh it's zero gravity you can tell the shrine tracker to look for wells instead and when the npc lady told me to do that i said no i'm not doing that lady that's cool and all great for you i will not be doing that good god he almost hit me with a rocket 
What? What happened? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that cool, Gamer27? Hello. <laughs> Chill, man. Look at this guy. This guy's firing freaking missiles at me and they do a quarter heart of damage. Okay. <laughs> I'm less scared. Oh, these are my favorite. Watch this. We go up. And then we go... We go there. We go boom. Send it. <laughs> Why did he go so high? Oh my god, I sent him into orbit. He's gone. Why did he go so high up? He flew, man. He never came down. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I think I want to explore... I want to get to this thing. But I need to explore the sides. I never actually went up here. I don't know what it actually is up here. Have I finally done the Kilton side quest in Terrytown? Um... No, I don't think I did. Which one is that? I have the one with the caves from his brother. Um, I didn't collect all those. I got enough to get the mystic armor. And then he was like, oh, cool, cool. There's still like a hundred out there if you want to go get all those. And I said, no, <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. Hello, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the easy way to find caves? I know about like um, the rabbits, yeah. No, I know about the Satori thing too. You can give a you can give an offering to the like king of the mountain or whatever it was from Breath of the Wild, and that will reveal that'll reveal all the caves in the area. Except it doesn't it. it shows duplicates too so i was like oh. i have to pull up my map and like cross reference it it was just weird and it, it's there's no way the cave reward is worth it like what do you get for getting all those a cutscene, i bet right like three lines of dialogue what is going on in here oh baby gambling they have it up here? Sick. Let's see, where's my big gamble? Big money, big money. Bing, 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 bing. <clears throat> it's gonna lag the game up. Yeah! No, they're not done. <laughs> Oh, it's lagging. They can't handle them. There's too many balls. Oh, my brain's lighting up. I'm never even going to use like half of those, but it's fun to do. Whee. So what are we doing in here? Looked like reflecting... Oh, hold up. I heard something. Reflecting light to go up there. The start of the stream, I hate gambling. When he sees a gambling machine. <laughs> when I see the gotcha bomb machine. <gasps> I gotta gamble, man. Also, no gambling command. No. <laughs> I'm a hypocrite. Oh. Hello. Steph's here. Oh, she's not popping up. Not at all. What am I doing? Oh, I see what I'm doing. Okay. We're doing one of these. Whee. People say hello, Steph. 
She says hi back. Oh, she's right behind me. Oh, you can see her for like a frame when I when I move. <laughs> she disappears. Other way, other way, the other way. This is a weird one. Bum bum. Puzzle. I love the low gravity sections because you kind of just float like this. What am I doing? Ooh. Can I hit? Okay. Loop get. Then is there another one? But this moves everything, so I'm confused. Oh, was that one of the mini puzzles here? Are there like multiple? What does this have? Like one of those sage medallions in it? Hey! I haven't gotten to use these yet. I got four of them though. I think they upgrade your... Your sage people? Where am I? That's a good question. I'm like... Somewhere? Oh! I'm in a big ball above uh, the Gerudo area. No, it's one of these. Oh. It's a whole shrine. Okay. Wait, that's a new animation. I've I've done like so many of these and I've never seen that. That's cool. That was neat. And I bet it gives me like a Raru's blessing for that, which is the, the lamest reward ever. Sadly. Mayasiar. They put a puzzle shrine inside a puzzle? No, that's the problem with this game. It should have just given me the reward for completing the shrine. Instead, I have to go through a loading screen, and then it's going to go like, Raru's blessing. I get like a ruby or something that I'm never going to use. Maybe a sapphire even. Watch this. Oh, even worse, a star fragment staff. Can't wait to never use that. And then you go over here and it goes, oh, and it gives you the thingy. It's just like a waste of time. It could have just given me this and I could move on. And then it goes, oh. <laughs> nice. Cool. Um, I'm not sure what else is up here. It kind of sucks how many shrines are just blessings. Yeah, that's that's one of my main complaints about this game. It's just like, why even have them if they're just going to be... If they're just like a reward for getting there. Oh my god. Can I get out of here? Because shrine puzzles, well, yeah, the shrine puzzles are cool, but the one, the 50, of the 150 shrines, like, a, like 50 of them are, are just like, Raru's blessing, you did it. Oh. Bum, ba, ba, da, bum. Also, hello, Cell. The busy work makes it feel like there's content, yeah. Uh-oh, it's getting chilly up here. Send me away. Yeah, I want to investigate this, and then... Should we do the maze or the Deku tree? 
Or should I just go and do the main quest? I feel like the main quest is is calling my name. Wow, cellulose. <laughs> There we go. Deku tree? Deku tree could be cool. He was like, my tummy hurts. I need some help. And so I I couldn't find his stomach until I, I looked like, I looked around for two seconds and I found it when I was like playing on my own. Oh, this is so cool. I love the zero gravity sections or low grav. Have I been over there? Ooh, this is new over here. I haven't been here. I'm getting distracted. Uh-oh. Tabantha Sky Archipelago. Gambling? You look in the obvious hole inside of it? Yeah, I didn't know there was an inside of the Deku tree. I forgot there's like little shops and stuff in there and there's cute little stuff in there. Um, I'll probably do this one on my own. I kind of just want to go to the Deku tree, but I can at least get the teleport to this one so I can come back later. Ganos' shrine. Wow. Go find the green crystal. It's like a mile that way. You got to bring it back here using a bunch of convoluted stuff. You got to build some things and... It's down there. Go get it. Oh my god, it's in a Minecraft construct too. <laughs> I gotta go kill that. How do I feel about there being no Navi? In the new Zelda games, no small backseating fairy. Um, <clears throat> kind of nice. Although there is a lot of backseating from like other characters. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you need it nowadays. But I like that there's there's not one. I kind of wish you did have a companion character, but I don't think it would fit super well with like Breath of the Wild being so. It's all about, like, just freedom and, and Link, so it would kind of be weird to have someone just, like, telling you what to do. I have four. Well, yeah, but they don't talk. They just follow me around. Bum, bum. Also, here's the Deku tree. He's got a, a bit of a tummy ache, he said. And he was like, my, my stomach hurts. I need you to go down there and fix it, please. So, I have to do that. And all the Koroks are like triple dot. Which is weird. It's really weird seeing this because every Korok in the game's like, Yippee! Fortnite and Cola! And they're so happy to see you, and these are all like, Oh, oh no. They're so sad. And you get the sad music. Bum, 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 bum. I'm in the Deku tree right now. Wee. So what's what do I do down here? How do I fix it? No, there's a, there's a zunk down here. Oh no. I've actually fought these before though. They, they aren't too bad. Or I fought like the the full version of this. Not a rocket. <laughs> These things suck, man. You have to basically kill all of them at the same time. But they just move so fast, too. Grab you, man. 
where they can grab your little spirits too. <laughs> I did it. Phantom Ganon. There he is. I don't think I, I showed Phantom Ganon on, on the stream. I fought him off stream though. I got his bow and his, his some um, some other stuff he has. His attacks are really weird too. Or I just can't get him down. I might die here. <laughs> oh, you fool. Oh, wait, I have a 50 damage bow. What am I doing? Oh, I still had the bow out. I was like, why didn't he do a backflip? Ooh! This is Shadow Ganon, and this is Phantom Ganon. Ow. We fought Ganon? Ain't he, like, the final boss? No, I fought this Ganon, like, the, um... The Phantom Ganon, because he always spawns when you fight uh, the the Doom Hands or whatever they're called, Gloom Hands. He always pops in like this and is like, I'm going to kill you, Link. And he sucks at doing that. I'm dead. I don't, do I have a fairy? Surely I have a fairy, right? Um, I have this meal. I gotta do some cooking after this. <laughs> the delay he does is so frustrating. Because he comes at you with that move and just like, gets really up close to you and just doesn't do anything. And then he swings. We did it. Bum, ba -da -ba -dum. I fixed the tummy ache. Yay. <laughs> they send the boys in to evac me. Thank you so much, Mr. Hero. The Great Deku Tree is waiting for you in Korok Forest. Thank you. Oh, they didn't evac me. Mr. Deku Tree. <laughs> um. Is there a way to manually get out of here? Or do they like... Because one thing I've wondered is... Can you beat this game without fast traveling? Okay, I think this would work. It feels like it'd be really hard to beat without fast traveling, though. Yeah, very easily. Well, like, not like just go to Ganon and, and beat Ganon there. Like, do everything without fast traveling. Bum. I have a friend who says they saw a big whirly circle. They saw it in an area with water. Uh, I will not be doing that right now. Whirly, swirly things. Hello. What happened so suddenly? The great Deku tree was in agony. An ominous fog came out of his mouth, and then a bunch of Koroks started acting funny. He started throwing up, but thanks to you, everything's back to normal. Cool. We already met. Doom, doom. Please go find them. They see and see what they need. I think there's shrines and stuff to do here, but I'll probably do them on my own. Bum, bum. La -fla. La -fla. Give me all your rush rooms. Oh wait, they have a little inn here, don't they?
Wait, they don't charge you because they're little forest creatures. Why would they charge you? They don't believe in money and e economics. They're little wholesome guys. Aw. Do, 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 do. Yay. You can grab some breakfast next door. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Oh, and they give you a little speed up, too. Or maybe that was the food I ate. I can't remember. Dude, I'm cruising. Do, do. Um. Let's go do. Mm, I want to do this, but I think I want to do a lookout landing. Talk to the Deku tree. Oh, yeah. He was probably going to help me. Or tell me to do something. Ow. Dang, I'm missing 12 shrines. That's not a lot. Pretty close to getting all of them. There's 150, right? Or no? Maybe not. We got fast travel again. Swoop. 152. Oh, I'm missing 14. Swoop. Let me see. Eh. In what universe did they put a shrine number that isn't a multiple of four? That's true. That'd be messed up. <laughs> they just give you two of those extra things just to mess with you. Doo -doo. Hello, Mr. Tree. Ooh, not you. I must apologize. I'm still quite groggy. As though I'm awakening from a bad dream. You were me of that unpleasantness deep within me. You want me to, you went to a great trouble to restore me. Thank you. It's been some time since we last spoke. Have you been well? Yes, the last time we spoke, that was when you came here with the princess to retrieve the sword. I remember. The master sword. Oh wait, no, this is not Breath of the Wild. Lore. It is good to see you. I forgot he talks. Princess Zelda of Hyrule. And Link, keeper of the master sword. As me. Your blade has been fully restored. This is like right before oh, the first cutscene, right? The beginning of the game. Once more. <laughs> cool. Great Deku tree. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, I didn't do anything. There is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. It is amazing that a sword can heal itself, no matter how badly damaged it becomes. Yeah. It can do more than heal. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. The potential of this fabled blade may well be limitless. Crazy. Only the work of a goddess. A sword that grows ever stronger. The master so where did... sword. Yeah, where to go though? I want to know where it's <laughs> where it's at. Or is he gonna be like, "Wow, well, yeah, that happened," but where to go? I thought you had it. I, I trusted you with it. What is this then? You do not know where it is. Where it is? I can sense it even now. There can be no mistake. Where? It's here. Why is it there? It's moving. It's. <laughs> Is it on? <laughs> is it on the giant dragon that's circling the? Oh my god! Is it? Is Zel I mean, Zelda had it when she turned into a dragon, I guess. So it would make sense. <laughs> she seems to be moving. 
You may need to be resourceful to reach the sword, but you must find a way. Surely the Master Sword is awaiting you just as you are seeking it. Wait, that's kind of sick, though. I'm sure I can just go grab it, too. I feel like I've got the health to do it. If it's the same... Is it the same thing as, like, the last game where you had to have a ton of health to be able to pick it up? I'll just cut it. I'll see what it is. It's gotta be the Zelda Dragon, right? It's stamina this time? Well, I'm capped on that. Why'd they make it stamina? Weird. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Send me. Oh my god, it's right there. Wait, is that it right there? Is that her? Wow, that's a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Bum bum. Bum bum bum. Big dragon. Hello, Zelda. I'm worried. Hmm. I'm just gonna land right on her nose. Hello. <laughs> it just jammed in her forehead. This is so weird. <coughs> Hi. Uh-oh. She's not liking that. Hold. It's like pulling a thorn out of a an animal. It hurts, but I'm trying to I'm trying to help you. <laughs> this holds. This is so sad. I'm I'm helping her. And she's gonna cry again. A tear of the kingdom. I'm a bit weirded out because I saw a tweet when this game first came out. I saw a tweet from like a, a well known game reviewer that was like, I will never forget the or. The journey I took to find the Master Sword. I will never forget the journey I took when I figured out where it was. And that's a memory I'll hold with me forever. That was not memorable to me. I just saved a tree and then it's it was in Zelda's head. That's, <laughs> I don't know what he was talking about. That took like five minutes. <laughs> the journey I took to get there. Let me just pull it real quick. Maybe he was hyping that one up. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just overleveled or something. I don't, I don't know what it is. I did it. The journey I took. That will be a memory I hold with me forever. Game reviewer hype. <laughs> there was a lot of, the, of that about this game. Where everyone was like, this is the perfect video game. I got it. Yes. You got the sword. Cool. Now what? Link. Oh, do I get a cutscene? Link. Yay. The master sword. Your sword. She is the key to destroying the demon king. Mm-hmm. He defeated her before. A long slumber will heal these grievous wounds. 
And when you two next face the demon king, you're gonna kick his ass. You will have my strength to help you through her. Who is her? You are our final the hope. sword? I pray. The sword reaches you in the future. It's really bright. Sword is canonically. <laughs> I'm glad to know the sword identifies with she, her pronouns. Glad they confirm that. She's still alive, right, though? The Zelda dragon? I mean, you're joking, but if I remember correctly, in one game that was canon, the sword was a woman. Wasn't the sword, like, Fi in Skyward Sword? Or maybe not. I don't remember. I never played that one. Master Sword. Wait, is the sword canonically female? That's so strange, but I guess that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> I did it. I will never forget the journey I took to get that cutscene. And now I can shoot shoot beams. Wait, I can shoot. I also saw, oh, it puts you right back here. That's nice. Kind of weird, but Wee. I can go to lookout landing really quick. I don't have to teleport. You can farm dragon parts from Zelda. I saw the grind to like fully upgrade some of the armor in this game requires like eight or ten pieces from some of the dragons, which you can only get one piece from a dragon like per day in game. And I, I'm like, I don't care enough to upgrade my armor. I don't know. That's one of the most unengaging systems in this game to me. Is like the armor upgrade process. I'm not a big fan of like collecting materials just to to hand them in and watch like six cutscenes. Oh, <laughs> I came in too hot. The game had to load. No. Hello, Pura. I wish I could go. We may have a lead us as Zelda's whereabouts. I cannot assist in any meaningful way. How shameful. Hey, where is Pura? Where'd she go? Oh my. Me after duping every single dragon part. See, that's the only thing I would use that duplication glitch for. It didn't feel necessary, but then when they give you like an artificial time, like you can only do this once every day thing. Like, yeah, no, I'm I'm duplicating those. <clears throat> She's up here, right? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah! Hmm. The major cold front that descended upon a Rito and the marbled rock roast that the Gorons couldn't get enough of. Then there was the sludge, finally the Gibdos and the sound, mm -hmm. the sand shroud. You did it all, buddy. Well done. This has to be related to the upheaval, and I have something important to share as well. More lore? She's not about to drop another cut. She dropped another cutscene on me. The blood moon rises. And? Uh -huh. ah, isn't that... <gasps> the blood moon! Link, look at this! Quickly! <laughs> Stare into the moon. Oh my god, no, not again. <gasps> it's a real fake Zelda.
she gone? Doopy doopy doop doop. Huh? Did you see that? That was the princess, wasn't it? It was. I was going to share that I saw a figure that looked an awful like, like, a lot like Zelda. The castle. I wasn't sure at first, but now I am. Thought she left the castle entirely, but she was inside. We got to get her. They can't reach the castle right now? Pfft, I can fly. Uh, I'm sorry, Link. I know I'm always throwing you into dangerous situations, but you really are the only one up to the task. Okay. I got it. I can do this easy. They don't know I have teleport powers. Also, can't they teleport too? Wasn't that a thing? Wasn't that a thing they can do? Where, I think in um, Age of Calamity, she shows everybody the teleport power. And now they're just not using it anymore. <clears throat> or is it too dangerous? Bum, 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 bum. Have I tried Lives of P yet? No, Link. but I've heard it's really good. Link. Come. Come to me. To me. I heard Lives of P is really good though. I don't think I want to play the demo, but I'll play it when it comes out. There she is. Go up. No. Gamers say the demo of cool. It's it's a really cool demo. I've heard it's like four hours long. That was the reason I didn't want to do it during like the the demo night I was doing a couple days ago. Because I wanted to do like rapid fire demos. <laughs> but I heard that one's like three or four hours long depending on how much or how good you are. Which is seriously impressive and kind of like a flex for that kind of game. For any sort of souls like to be like, yeah, just four hours. Here you go. Have fun. This is just a demo, by the way. So I'm really interested in the full game. Where does she want me to go? Down here? Second gatehouse. Hi, Zelda. Oh, just missed her. Oh, never mind. Hold up. Whoa! <laughs> Jump scare in a Zelda game? Jump scare in here. Oh. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba. I keep attaching the rockets on accident. I want to attach the uh, the fire fruit. The Master Sword doesn't break as often. It seems really durable. Wait, can you fuse stuff to it? You can! I think I fused the wrong thing, but that's cool. I didn't think you'd be able to fuse things to it. Lachlan stole your idea and is also streaming Tears of the Kingdom. That's messed up. <laughs> Tell him he's not allowed to stream while, <laughs> while I'm playing it. I have a monopoly on the Tears of the Kingdom two months after release category. <laughs> Let's raid him. I raided him last night. Um, I don't think it would be too weird to raid him again, but I need like variety in, in people I raid. It feels weird to like send you to the same person over and over. But it's not like a bad thing. Do, 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 do. 
So is this just like a gauntlet section? We're just gonna be fighting a bunch of dudes? How dare you stream it while he's playing it? No, that'd be very mean to say. <laughs> Ooh. He's the Gerudo Greg. Why is there a Henox in here with all ah! with all these boys? Gerudo Gregory's at it again. Ah. Although I'm not technically Gerudo Greg right now. We're already done with that. All right. We died. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Hyrule Henry now, yeah. I should probably make food, but I don't want to. I wish the cooking system was easier, even though they already have like a recipe system to make it really easy. I just gotta make some, um, let's do this. Portable pot, make me something so I don't die in one hit at the very least. Bornena. Um. Yeah, banana meat. I hate cooking, yeah. In Zelda. In Minecraft, too. There we go. I just wish it was easier to do, like... I wish I could have, like, a portable cooking setup, you know? That was, I don't know, easier to set up instead of having to do like this and go into find my portable pot, set it down, go pause, go find the ingredient I want to do or ingredient I want to make and go select for recipe, find the recipe I want to make, select that. It is simplified from Breath of the Wild, but it's still like kind of annoying. I don't know. Cooking simulator stream win. That's a game? I mean, yeah, it's definitely a game, but is it good? Man, this Zelda keeps disappearing every two seconds. Kind of flustered. Please don't sit on me. No. All right, good. Ooh. <laughs> Dude just drops a bunch of steak and I just eat it off the ground. Mm. Delicious. Yeah, I don't think I've been in Hyrule Castle at all, so I haven't really explored it. I don't know if there's anything in here. Zelda! Oh, it's a Gibdo. Hi! <laughs> Why is he waving at me? Get him with my star fragments. Yeah. Where's uh where's Riju? There she is. She's never around when you need her. Hit him, guys. Yeah. The whole gang. It's pretty interesting. You get what you ask for with a game about cooking. Is that the one with, like, hyper-realistic looking everything? 
I remember there's one I saw that looked very pretty. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Any plans on playing any other Zelda games? Um, not currently, but it'd be fun. I would like to play more Zelda because there's some good ones. <clears throat> Depends if there's interest, I guess. I came here to radiate Riz for future reference. What does that mean? <laughs> Steph just asked, what's Riz? I think it's a it's an abbreviation for charisma, right? I sound like a loser saying that. But it, I know Riz sounds stupider. Just say charisma. Bro, you're rizzing me up. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> okay, what are we doing? I wanted to go down here. Yippee! Princess Zelda's room? And she's in it? Okay, it's another jump scare. Whoops. Wait, do I know these? Oh, what the heck? Fire Breath was all close? New enemy? Hold up, I got it. Beautiful picture. <laughs> Bad posture picture. So is this whole section just like walk around and kill enemies? This is just like a filler episode. What is this? Fire breath tail. Fire breath Luzolfo's horn. Aw, oh, I was trying to get the talent, whatever. So where'd she go? She just went downstairs again? Okay. What a weird... Why am I chasing her? How do I not know she's fake? Like, I've, she's been fake the six times we've seen her already, so why wouldn't she be... Why would she be real this time? Whoa, it's a white... Oh, no, 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 I'm dead. It's gonna hurt a lot if that guy hits me. <laughs> See you, Umbriel. Did I win? What did my camera do? Yeah, this part sucks. <laughs> Do you have to? You don't have to play this part to like finish the game in like a speed run. I'm guessing, right? Everyone would hate this. My sword broke. No. Also, Flim, human asked your thoughts about a game called My Friendly Neighborhood. Yeah, I actually, um, I asked for a key for that game from the, like, the publishers on Twitter. They were, they put a, they put a, uh, a form out and, and they were like, is anyone interested in this game? We'll send you a, any influencers out there? And I was like, I guess, I, I don't know if I'm an influencer, but I have like 12,000 subscribers. And I really like Demand of the Adventurer, and I like what you published, so... Can I... I would love to play My Friendly Neighborhood. It looks fun. It's like Resident Evil... Like, Bioshocky. It's It's up my alley. I'm... It's on my calendar. We'll be playing it on the 18th when it comes out. Whether or not I get a key or, or not. 
Though if I do get a key, I would maybe like play it on my own early. I don't know how that works. I've never like done that. I never asked for a key for something, but I figured like, I don't know if I have 12,000 subscribers on my other channel, that's like a decent amount of people. And they're interested in like indie horror stuff. I don't know. We'll see what happens. How do I get into this place? <clears throat> I can't believe they could pass up on the 3.45 thousand subscriber influencer. No, I said my other channel because it's like 12,000 subscribers. It's a little bigger. It's got a little more pull. <laughs> Though it would be cool one day to, to get this channel up to that level. That's the goal though. I, I want this channel to pass the other one because I don't know. I enjoy making videos for the other channel, but I also enjoy doing this like way more. <laughs> I don't know. It's just fun. Where do I go? Where does it want me to go? Ah. Hi, Zelda. Are you going to turn into a monster for the sixth time in a row? What the? How could I have seen that coming? Get him up. <laughs> jump scare. And yeah, the thing about jump scares is like, after the tenth one in a row, you're like, all right, can we just, yeah, there we go. Can we just move on from this? Now you're just getting annoying. Bonk. Ooh, thank you. Royal shield. Yeah, I will take that over um, this. Thank you. E Easy. I hope this channel does pretty cool. I, I've got plans, so. And the, the pizza tower videos seem to be doing all right, so I'm happy with that. That video is still growing. It has like 12,000 views now. And I don't think it's a good video. <laughs> I got better stuff coming out, but I just wanted to make like a, a playthrough video. So I can make more Pizza Tower stuff and it feel, it feel less weird. Okay, Zelda, um, you are where? At the top? This has got to be the last one. Whee! Do the same people come to stream so often that it's more just like we all show up at your house to watch you play games and call you bad? I think that's fun. I like that. Whee! <laughs> You're all looking through the window. Just peep through the window. I'll probably finish this and then wrap up, though. I think, uh... I don't know what else to do after this, but this seems like a good stopping point. Unless it's like a boss, which... Ee. There's no way it's a boss. It's just like... A cutscene. Right? Link! I'm gonna turn into a giant monster real quick. At last! I have been waiting for you to arrive. Now, Link, there is something here I want to show you. Why do we have to do this, like, goose chase to get here? I could have just walked here the whole time. <laughs> I don't think it's the real Zelda. What do you think? This is fake Zelda. Hyrule Castle, perfect and glorious. The music's not right. Memories? Memories of our time huh? The music's too well, evil and sinister. Because it'll be the last thing you see. 
After all, this place will be your grave. Will be the last thing you ever see. No, it's Ganondorf. The he was the lady. He's just finding out I'm here. No matter. You will not live to see another sunrise. Did my puppet entertain you? She made it so easy to mislead you. Ganon voice actor though? Yeah, it's uh, Matt Mercer. He does a uh, critical role and stuff like that. He's a good voice actor. No, I'm not ready for this. Uh, <laughs> Demon King's Phantom Saboteur. I fought like four of these guys. Oh, oh, he did. He did five at a time. Huh. Um, can I leave? <laughs> this is awkward. I didn't bring food. Hold up. Go. Oh. Oh my god, it flipped over. Can you leave me alone? I'm trying to cook. Please let me cook. It, what? Okay, no, 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 no. Um, 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 um. Recipe, recipe, recipe. Can I cook in the middle of this fight? Is this okay? <laughs> Is the game going to yell at me for this? What do I make? Let's make a crab stew. You can't cook while enemies are near? Since when? <laughs> Bad game. Eat raw materials, but I could cook those. Uh oh. I don't want to eat all my raw materials. I could get sick. If you eat raw meat, you could die. You could get salmonella. And that's worse than dying to Phantom Ganon. Okay, good. I'm not stuck here, but. Um. Do I want to fight this? I kind of do. But I don't have the food to do this. Because I have no truffles and I can't fully heal. It sucks. I think that's one thing I also don't like about the cooking system. The truffles are too good. They're the best food you can get. And they, they rule. I don't know what else is a good thing to make. I guess that's also my problem. Oh wait, these give full recovery too. Um, two of them, maybe? Possibly. Oh wait, I didn't. I didn't put cooking stuff down. Uh, maybe use attack up, armor up if you have it. I. I don't know if I have it. I probably do. Fish stew. Ugh. I hate when you combine stuff and it's like, hey, here's all these cool ingredients that like fully heal you and do cool things. No, you just get health. That's it. There's also like uh, elixirs you can make, but I I don't think I've ever made them, and I don't know what they do. Attack power, and then 
armored porgy. And then it's just seafood skewer. What's the point? Swoop. And then... I wanted armor. Whoops. Where's the armor one? Is it... Iron Shroom? Oh, I do have a truffle. Wow. Would we just use better armor? Flight suit probably isn't the most ideal armor for fighting a demon king. Um, that's where you're wrong, because it's the only thing I've upgraded ever. I think it's my best armor, period. I don't have any better armor. Well, I have this one that's slightly... Also, I don't know what... What does eight mean? What does six mean? What does this? What do these numbers mean? I hate games that just like throw numbers at you and they don't tell you. Like, is this a percentage of damage reduced? What is it? What does it mean? <laughs> how much defense? I know it means how much defense I have, but like, I don't know what defense means when there's no like damage numbers. Oh, get rushed, doofus. Bop. Bop. Oh, that's awkward. Uh... It's cool that he sent all five at me. Now I have this, my gang here. Oh, I gotta get the timing back. You have barbarian armor? Why don't you use that? I do? Oh, I do have one piece of that, don't I? I don't know what attack up means either. Dude, they have gloom swords? They just hand these out for this? Ooh, look at that. Oh. Maybe I don't use the gloom sword. Um, use this. Use... Yeah, use that. Okay. How many phantom Ganondorfs are there? Why is this one so big? Is he any bigger? I don't think he is. Grenando. I hate that, like... What is that? Is that a vine sauce one? That's what Vinny calls Ganondorf, right? Ghostly Cronando. <laughs> I love how like well that works when it sounds nothing. It sounds nothing like Ganon, just Cronando. <laughs> Pop. Oh yeah, wouldn't the Master Sword be popping off here? Oh, because it broke. Whoops, I don't have it. I broke the Master Sword. Doesn't it glow and increase in power when danger's nearby? <laughs> Defeated is the monster. Big dwarf. Hey, you cut that out over there. <laughs> you cut that out. Wait, there's a club version of him? I've only fought the one with a sword. I didn't know there was one that had a <laughs> giant smash club. Get under smash. Oh, 60 damage. This is a battle. 
There's a spear too? Don't come. How many Phantom Link Ganons does it take to screw in a light bulb? One, the other four are fighting Link. I'm a hilarious funny joke. <laughs> they only fight him one at a time. Gloom Club. Wait, I could combine them. Yeah, good call. Because I could slap this onto that. Oh my god. This does so much damage. Oh, oh. Boom. The slam club. Got him. It seems there is more to you than the power Raru has gifted. Yeah. But not much more. Going sicko mode. Oh, oh, they're actually here. That's good. Link, we are here. Those who carry the secret stones. Just what is this thing? You do not recognize me. Perhaps there are limits to the knowledge the secret stones imply. I mean, we did skip the cutscenes. This is our fault. We don't know who this is. The foolish actions of your ancestors served only to delay my ascension. Allow me to show you, show you the world that was and will be again. Uh -oh. Oh, he's got a little jazzy theme song. Uh-oh. This is just a normal blood moon. Did I get that horse? Or is that DLC? No survivors. That horse is sick. I love that he just gave us like a, a trailer of what's gonna happen. <laughs> He's like, see, if you don't stop me. He really just gave us a preview. <laughs> that was just a 30 second preview. <laughs> I'll be back with more. Maybe someday. Was that the Demon King we were warned about? It all really happened? This is Dyer. The Demon King. The man who nearly destroyed the world. Ganondorf. With his return, everyone's in danger. Uh-oh. Oh, this isn't good. If that really was him, oh, we're in real trouble. Oh, Jeepers. Hold on. He must not be at his full strength. Otherwise, why flee instead of finishing us off? We should return to Lookout Landing and decide what to do next. Then the next one. Link, you should come too. I've already... I have... <laughs> I get a piece of heart for that. I've already, I don't want to say it. <laughs> Everybody wants me to come. I don't know why. It's so weird.
Why does everyone in this game tell you to? Ooh, Gloom Spear. Combine that with Gloom Sword. Oh wait, if I fuse these onto things, they don't give me the Gloom Toll, right? Like if I fused it onto this, to this Halberd? Oh, it's like not, oh, okay. That's kind of nice. You can fuse them and they don't give you the, the negative side, but you get the damage. Oh, I'm already fused? Get this out of here. Uh -huh. You only get gloom stuff when attacking enemies? Oh, okay. So I'm still going to get gloomified? Oops. I'll figure that out later. <clears throat> I'll complain about it next time when I'm like, why am I losing so much health to everything? Because I attached gloom swords to every weapon I own. <laughs> <clears throat> um. So what next? We talk to, to Pura and she's probably going to be like, actually, I know about the spirit temple. I heard of legends. It was underground. And I'm like, yeah, I, I know where it is. I've, I've been told. But I feel like it's actually going to be... It, it might be three weeks until the next stream of this. Because I'm going to be out of town... Uh, next... Not next week, but the week after. For a week. So there won't be any streams, but that's two weeks out and so this will be it'll be a while because i don't plan on streaming this next week maybe i do who knows it would be nice to but i feel like i'm nearing we're not nearing the end are we or are we like next time is it going to tell me to do is it going to tell me to do the spirit temple we go do that and then we go fight Ganondorf, right? And that's it. That, that's the only thing I can think of being left. There's still some side stuff, but... Um, I feel like I could finish it, yeah. Maybe I try, because I've been meaning to finish this game up. It, it feels like a weird playthrough, and I, I kind of just want to be done with it. <laughs> it's a weird game. It's... I don't know. It, I got excited for it, and then that excitement kind of went away pretty quickly for some reason. Mainly just because it's so similar to Breath of the Wild, I think. I still really like it, though. Just not very... I don't know, just like ready to be done. Because how much time do I have in it? Um, This isn't going to dox me, is it? 90 hours or more. <laughs> oh, don't look at that friend code of mine. <laughs> Makes me so mad that the geoglyph in the bottom right corner isn't lined up properly. Oh my god, it isn't. Why is it not? Oh no. It's also weird that they just like keep showing up on the map. These things are always there. They look ugly. They're like little tattoos on the map. Friend code, write it down. I probably won't accept it. Boop. Mm. But yeah, that's a good spot to wrap up. Um, is there anyone I can send you to? I could send you to, to Lachlan again. Is there anyone else live on the internet? I could send you to the Eric Andre show. I could send you to uh, Amelia Watson. Or Watson Amelia. I don't know how you say that. I don't know any of these people. I'm on like the live tab. YouTube's really weird. I could send you to giving 1,000 Robux to every viewer live. Roblox, free Robux. I could send you to, to that. You guys want to go to that stream? Could be fun. <laughs> I feel like it's fitting though. Starry's playing. <laughs> Starry's playing the game. I'm going to send you to him. Sorry, no free Robux. You'll have to search that on your own and find that. Bum, bum, bum. You need your Roblox? You can find it. YouTube will promote that stuff a lot for some reason. I don't know why, even just clicking the uh, the tab 
for lives. It just shows up and it's like, hey, you want to watch Roblox stuff? I don't know why it recommends it to me. I don't even watch Roblox. That's one thing YouTube's live tab needs to fix. They need to actually make it recommend stuff that's relevant to you. It doesn't. It just re recommends like whatever it can find. But uh, I'm going to send you all to, to Lachlan, Starry Eyes. We, we went to him yesterday, but I'm just going to send you again because uh, why not? You know, never hurts. I got to find more streamers that I, I need to like introduce myself. I think that's why I don't like rating as much. I feel weird rating someone that I don't know. So I need to sit in people's chat and like actually make connection or like friendships with them before sending them uh they're sending you their way but yeah i'll catch you later have a good night and see you uh what's today sunday uh, i'll put the stream up the schedule up for next week we will be back on tuesday with pikmin pikmin 4 Probably. The Pikmin 4 demo comes out, but I think I want to play Bikmin instead, so stay tuned for that. But I'll see you then. Have a good night, and say hi to Starry. Bye.